The oui. President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The trial chamber is back in session. Reprise de l'audience. And next, uh, we will uh, continue to hear witness to TCW 964. Court officer is instructed to uh, bring the witness to the witness stand in the courtroom. le témoin dans le prétoire. The President, good morning, witness. What is your name? Bonjour, Monsieur le témoin. Comment vous appelez-vous? The witness, please hold on until um, uh, the microphone is activated. So before you respond, you should wait until the red light is on your microphone so that other people, including the interpretation, uh, could hear de pourra vous entendre, notamment les and um, uh, we will operate on this uh, arrangement um, because uh, your testimony will be interpreted into English and French also. So could you hold on uh, a few seconds before you uh, respond? After the question posed to you. So uh, we cannot activate immediately after the question is uh, finished. So uh, please uh, remind that you look at the microphone. Witness, what is your name? Response. My name is uh, Kev Chandara, alias Yao. Question, what is Question. your date of birth? Date uh, do you remember it? Vous en souvenez -vous? Response, Réponse. I remember that I was born Je me in 1942. Uh, President, thank you. And where is your birthplace? Response, Réponse. I was born in Mahasena village, Tapem commune, Tramcock, district Takao province. Question, Moisena, what Tapem, is your current address, Tramcock, witness? My present resident was mm. the same ah, as I told uh, you earlier. Réponse, uh, president, thank you. What is your indiqué. occupation now? Question. Quelle est votre profession? Response. Réponse. I was a. Uh, I am now a retiree uh, from a 
policeman from the Ministry of Interior. What is your parents' name? Question. Comment s'appelaient vos parents? My father is Sokti, deceased, and my mother, Kao Chan Tien, also deceased. Um, what is your wife's name and how many children do you have? Response. My wife is Kao Sakon. I have seven children, uh, two of them deceased. President, thank you. Mr. Kao Chandra, based on the report of the Kruger this morning, um, to your knowledge, you have no uh, 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 relative by blood or by law uh, were admitted to uh, a civil party in case 002. Is this correct? Respond, yes, this is correct, Mr. President. President, thank you. And you have taken an oath before you enter into the courtroom. Uh, is this correct? Witness, yes, I took uh, an oath before the iron statue in this court. President, thank you. Now, um, the chamber wishes to inform you the right and obligation as a witness. Um, as a witness uh, in this proceeding, you may refuse to any question or any uh, request to make assertion uh, that may incriminate you. This is the right. Uh, against self-incrimination. And as a witness, you have a duty uh, to give testimony in these proceedings, and you have to answer to questions posed by the parties or any judge from the bench, except uh, the, the question or any assertion uh, request that may incriminate you um, as I uh, told you earlier, as a witness, you should respond to the best of your knowledge, the truth uh, of even you have heard, you experienced, you observed uh, personally any incident uh, in relation to the questions posed by the parties or by the judges from the bench. Mr. Kachandara. Have you Monsieur given any testimony or any interview to the investigator from the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges? If so, how many interviews you gave and where uh, uh, are the places you gave interview? Response, yes. I gave uh, several interviews, but I do not remember the date, at least five or six interviews, um, especially the interview on, um, on the crimes or on the event happened during the DK region. President, thank you. And before you enter, enter uh, the courtroom, have you read your statements that you gave to the interview, uh, at the interview, to the investigators to uh, refresh your memory? Response, because uh, I have given several interviews. I remember some, but I uh, may forget some of the contents. Mr. President, have you uh, read those uh, statements before you enter into this courtroom? Question, yes, I did, but uh, there was one question uh, which, effet, uh, which was handwritten, I could not read very well. I failed to uh, read and understand uh, that content. President, to your memory and your knowledge, 
those statements and the contents are uh, correct to that of uh, the, the statements uh, you gave to the interviews in several occasions earlier? Response. Yes, some are correct, others are not uh, correct. Because uh, in certain question, saying that my father is Kao Chan Tien. In fact, my father is Sok Ki. There was some uh, small error in that uh, statement. But I can correct uh, during my testimony here before the chamber. President, thank you, Mr. Witness. And uh, to begin with the examination of uh, this witness, um, under Rule 91B, uh, the Chamber will hand the floor to the co-prosecutor to put question to uh, this witness, and the co-prosecutor and the lead co-lawyers will have half day for questioning uh, this question, and uh, you will have time from now to the lunch break and also um, in the afternoon. Now, the floor is yours, uh, Mr. Co-prosecutor. Thank you, Mr. President, and good morning to Mr. President, your honors, and everyone in and around the courtroom. Good morning to you, Mr. Kao Chandra. Today, I'm going to be asking you a number of questions about events that happened a long time ago. And of course, you should answer to the best of your memory. But if there's something that you don't remember, please tell us that you don't remember and don't try to guess. Also, if any of my questions are confusing or unclear, please tell me and I will ask the question in a different way. I'd like to start by asking you about events in 1970. In your OCIJ interview D25-24, you state that in 1970 you joined the Maquis in the forest as a doctor with a person named Jun Jun. Could you tell us who Jun Jun was, how you were introduced to the revolution, and what you did after you joined the Maquis. Response. The reason why I joined the movement in the Maquis because um, the former King Rodam Sihanouk appealed from Paris if any Cambodian who loved him um, he or she should uh, join the Marquis to liberate uh, the country and to help the, uh, the prince. And then I called my friends to join the movement and went to the jungle. But before doing that, I went uh, to my district to Tram Kok uh, to uh, meet with my parents. In interview E3-5153, at page number 0017-2043 in Khmer, 0020-5088 in English, and 0020-5088 Okay. Uh, the ERN in Khmer is 0017-2043, English 0020-5088, and French 0020-5093. In that interview, you state that you were in Kabal or village in Tram Kok district from 1970 to 71, and that from 72 to 74 you were assigned to work at Hospital 22 in Tram Kok. During that period, did you get to know any of the Khmer Rouge leaders from Tram Kok district? And if so, whom did you get to know? Response. When I first arrived, 
the Khmer Rouge leaders. Of course, I don't know. I didn't know anyone, but um, and I was instructed to uh, give up and to uh, f uh, forget everything from the old society because I was belong to the uh, capitalist. And later, I was told that I was a student, a doctor. So um, uh, I have to give up to forget everything to um, build myself as a uh, revolutionary. I'd like to ask you about Tamok in particular. Je voudrais vous poser des questions you state sur in OCIJ interview E3-5153 that you and he met frequently and that he knew your mother. Could you tell us a little bit about how your mother knew Tamok and when it was that you met Tamok frequently? Respond, yes. Tamok, who knew my mother when he was a monk, he was one of the students who studied Buddhism in uh, the uh, high, uh, Pali High School at Mahamantra Pagoda. So his house was eight kilometers from my house. We would travel on a bicycle and Tamok would uh, came over to my house for lunch at my mother's house, and they are good friends. When I left Phnom Penh to my house in my village, the messengers of the Khmeru took me uh, from my house on the same day. I did not have enough time to talk to my parents. I was taken to Dam Naksnul village, but um, before I arrived, I was sent to Tulpchak village. I spent there for about two hours, and uh, the messenger took me from Tulpchak uh, to Dam Naksnul village. At each place, uh, so uh, the messenger uh, would assign from one Le place and then in a, the messenger would take uh, me to another place. So um, they did not assign one messenger to send us all the way uh, from the first place to uh, the third, for example. So and later I was sent to the sector hospital. It was not belong to uh, the zone uh, sector. And those who knew me because Ceux I was a doctor, they came to see me docteur, for treatment during the Sankum Riyadiyum. I'm sorry, I, I will speak uh, uh, some French because et it is difficult for me to speak in Khmer. It was in Fondation Calmet. I was Calmet, working in the uh, emergency uh, I, I apologize for interrupting you. Uh, I'd like to ask you to, to try to focus specifically on my questions. I know we have a lot of material to go through and you have a lot to tell us, uh, but it will be more helpful if we can deal with it uh, in sort of a step-by-step -step way. Is that okay? Thank you very much. Thank you for that. You mentioned just a moment ago that Tamok would have lunch at your mother's house. Can you estimate how many times or how often Tamok had lunch at your mother's house? Witness, I did not take note, but many times. Uh, sometime when I was studying at Phnom Penh, I don't know. Especially uh, when he would uh, visit uh, my mother's home. Uh, 
But I heard from my mother that uh, Tamok would come uh, to have lunch at her house, and his name when he was a monk was called Acha Ung Chuen. And his family name was Ung. When he visited uh, my house in my village, I was a student at the uh, Faculty of Medicine in Phnom Penh. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I would now like to turn to the topic of your arrest. Can you tell us about the circumstances or events that led to your arrest in 1973 or 1974? Response. In 1973 or 1974, I was not arrested yet because uh, I was just deprived of certain rights because uh, they said that I uh, belong to the Sienukis movement and uh, because there was an appeal uh, for them to join the movement, resistance movement, rather. Uh, President um, Witness, it appeared that you look at a document for uh, responding, so um, the chamber uh, advised you that um, you will listen only to the question and respond. Um, you cannot have a look at any document uh, to give response. So when you were arrested, were you ever told the reason for your arrest, or did you ever learn the reason why you were arrested? Response. When I was taken to the detention center, it was in 1975. Uh, this is a small mistake uh, to say 1923. I was there until uh, end of uh, February, um, until April of that year, uh, until um, March of that year. Um, until April of that year. So the total of my detention duration was uh, 28, uh, 29 days in Krang Tachan. And do you know why you were arrested? Do you know the reason for your arrest? Response. At the beginning, I was not told that I was under arrest. Uh, they simply came and told me that the upper Anka would like you to collect all documents and uh, medical equipment so that you can go and instruct people at the upper echelon. Uh, especially to teach um, uh, medical um, skill to other people. However, when I went to the place, to the second, first place, the second and the third, it was uh, late, uh, rather late at night. I was ending up at Krang Tachan. When I was there, Krang Tachan Detention uh, Center, uh, I was told that it was the re-education center. Um, I was not told that it was Krang Tachan, but at that place, I passed the gate. And when I 
um, uh, pass the uh, the building uh, and then they uh, shut down the door and then et I realized that uh, it was a detention a uh, building. I was uh, surprised, I was shocked. I saw many prisoners in that building and uh, in the morning of that day there were more than uh, 40 prisoners, about uh, 45 or so, and men, women uh, were also there. They were shackled uh, to their ankles. I'd actually like to go slightly back in time before your arrival at Krang Tai Chan. In your interview D25-24, at page number 0016-3457 in Khmer, 0022-3452 in English, and 0017-8091 in French. You stated, and I quote, they interrogated me at Krabai Prai for five days before they took me to Krang Tai Chen. Could you tell us briefly where Krabai Prai was located and describe the place where you were interrogated there? Krabai Prai office was about uh, more than 10 kilometers from my house and from that location to Krang Tai Chan it was roughly about uh, 10 kilometers. I was taken to Krabai Prai and they only questioned me whether I received uh, any uh, training from uh, CIA Et la seule chose que l'on demandé, c'est si j'avais reçu or KG, une formation KGB. And, where, and from whom did I receive uh, that kind of a training? Formé, and who was it who interrogated you at Krabai Prai? Question inaudible pour l'interprète. It was not those people Réponse. at the Krabai Prai Ce office. Pas les gens du bureau de Krabai Prai. But when I later on arrived at Krang Tha Chan, I saw the same individual, that is Tha Chen. La même personne, à savoir Tha Chen. So are you saying Question. that you saw Tha Chen at donc Krabai Prai as Chen well as at Krang Tha Chen? Prai et à Krang Tha Chan? Probably at that time, uh, Atya Chen uh, uh, came through, questioned me in person at Krabai Prai, and later on he had left uh, through Krang Tha Chan. And five days later, I was taken to Krang Tha Chan. And I didn't know at the time that Krang Tha Chan was a prison, only after I was pushed in and the fence closed. And when I felt the barbed wire around the fence, then I realized it was a prison. C'est à ce moment-là que j'ai compris People que c'était une prison. People who were to be killed, then they would uh, have been killed immediately at uh, Krabai Prai without having to, uh, to take them to Krang Tha Chan. And for those who were to be interrogated in order to find those people who were implicated, then they would be sent to Krang Tha Chan for the interrogation. Just one more question about your time at Krabai Prai before we move on to Krang Tha Chen. In the same section of interview D25-24, discussing your interrogation at Krabai Prai, you said they asked you, quote, how much I hated the revolution and which individuals I hated, unquote. Did they tell you why they thought you hated the revolution? Vous ont-ils dit pourquoi ils pensaient que vous avez la révolution?
réponse. I didn't dare ask them. Je n'ai pas osé leur poser la question. However, at that time, I recall that uh, whenever I uh, came to uh, visit my native village, à chaque fois que j'allais dans village mon village chief, natal, there is uh, the Khmer Rouge village chief, le chef de village un Khmer Rouge, usually would ask me to go along for a uh, fishing. And sometimes de I was busy, so I refused. Occupé, donc, uh, I gave them the fishing net and uh, a rifle pêche, for shooting birds. Et également une carabine and maybe, pour des oiseaux, because they didn't know how to use that kind of a gun, then ils ne uh, they reported to the arme, relevant uh, people about uh, me. Fait rapport, uh, à qui de droit? And I believe uh, the question that I were, was, was asked, it could be from the reporter from Kolrum, Kolso, uh, who were former village chiefs and who actually died later on. So now moving on to your time question. at Krang Tai Chan. Revenons My first à la question que vous is, avez passé à Krang Tachan. Première question. Savez-vous qui a décidé de vous envoyer de Krabai Prey à Krang Tai Chan? Réponse. I only thought that there had to be an order from the upper echelon que to transfer me from Krabai Prey to Krang Tachan in order to uh, question to me more. Et ce, That's why I was sent to Krang Tachan. Me faire interroger à Krang Tachan, et c'est pour cela que j'ai été envoyé. Le président. President. Uh, witness, you are reminded that uh, in your Monsieur response, témoin, please don't make any assumptions. En répondant, you only respond from what you have heard, have experienced, or have uh, witnessed, observed, or seen, vu, entendu, and not to make any assumptions. And that would assist us in ascertaining the truth. Ceci, Thank ceci you. Aidera la chambre dans la manifestation de la so vérité. turning now to Question. your arrival at Krang Tai Chan. Passons à votre when you à Krang arrived Tai Chan. at Krang Tai Chan, what types of people were detained there with you? Who were the other prisoners? Qui étaient les autres détenus? Those who were detained Réponse. were detained in a long row. Les prisonniers était placé en rang. Chant, that was the une difficult uh, condition. À Krang Tachan, les conditions étaient difficiles. They use a wooden plank underneath uh, their ankles. Une the president de bois interrupts. Une était placée sous les chevilles des détenus. M Mr. Le witness, you are reminded Monsieur to respond uh, correctly and directly to uh, the question and not to make any indirect response and Mr. Uh, Deputy Co-Prosecutor, please ask the question again. Yes, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Witness, my question Monsieur was, témoin. who were the groups of people who were there with you? Uh, what kind of people were detained at Krang Tai Chan, the other prisoners? Who were placed in detention at Krang Tai Chan? Who were the other detenus? Réponse. By that time, uh, I did not know what types of people they were. Je ne savais pas quel type de gens c'était. I didn't know their background to know where they came from. J'ignorais leur histoire et leur lieu d'origine. I'd like to read Question. a quote to you from one of your interviews and ask you whether you remember this information or not. Si vous vous the interview is D2524, D the page number in les English is 0022-3455. Uh, in French, it's 0017-8093, and in Khmer, it is 0016-3460. And this is what Voici was said in the interview. Question. 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 Where did the prisoners come from? Les Answer. Réponse. Lone Null soldiers 
Paul Pot des soldats de l'Omnol, des cadres de Pol Pot, j'ai rencontré le président office. du bureau de recrutement the militaire, were les soldats de l'Omnol étaient emmenés à Praïkadoï, les cadres qui étaient accusés de traîtrise. Fin de citation. Are you able to remember that information today? Vous souvenez-vous de ces informations Yes, I do. The réponse, oui. Those people who were sent to uh, Oconduit, les gens envoyés à Oconduit, they were not only uh, former uh, soldiers. Pas seulement d'anciens soldats. In fact, uh, they were people who were involved in the uh, battlefield, des gens but qui after combattu, the regime fell, uh, they were du régime, gathered. Ces gens ont été But rassemblés. At Cela dit, à Krang Tachan, office, au bureau de Krang Tachan, a mixture of, uh, everything. il Not y avait toutes sortes de gens, cadres or, pas seulement des uh, cadres soldiers. ou des soldats. And I only learned uh, that information from the prisoners themselves when we uh, talked in the prison. J'ai appris cela de la bouche des prisonniers so lorsque je me suis entretenu clear, avec eux. Question. The... The pour être sûr d'avoir bien compris, ce sont les soldats de l'Omnol eux-mêmes qui vous ont révélé leur statut, est-ce exact Besides those who, were, who lived uh, in my nearby villages, they would not uh, tell me whether they were uh, former lunar soldiers or, or teachers. Dans les villages proches du mien, and only those who were knew at the nearby villages, then they, they would uh, Ceux tell qui me. me révélaient leur statut, c'était seulement les villageois des alentours. In the quote that I just read, Question. you said Dans le the lunar soldiers were taken to Praikadouk. Vous dites que les soldats de l'Onol ont été emmenés après Kadouk. Can you tell us what was located at Praikadouk, and how did you become aware Où that the lunar soldiers were taken there? Où était cet endroit et comment avez-vous appris que les soldats de l'Onol y avaient été emmenés? After Réponse. the Regime to collapse in 1979, Après la chute du régime, en 1979, I knew uh, what it was, but not during the regime. Ce mais pas sous le régime And in même. fact, it was not a pre en réalité, ce pas pre it actually had a number, it's called Office 204. Le code it's était called le bureau 204. And there was a, a hill Oconduit, there. Il y avait là une colline. For those people who were sent there, des gens y étaient envoyés. Maybe there would be only one or two who survived. The rest Seule une were ou deux killed. personnes ont survécu. Les autres ont été tués, comme à Krang Tachan. And for those who were sent uh, to to fight at the front battlefield, they also there there was hardly any uh, survivors. And Concernant ceux qui venaient des champs de bataille, village, il y a eu peu de who, survivants. Uh, only were those who actually knew how to Seuls build houses, for example, in the village. Ceux qui savaient construire des maisons You've dans le village. Just told us that you learned this Question. after the regime fell vous dites in 1979. Vous après la chute Can you tell us how you learned this information after the regime fell? I Réponse. was a, a commune chief from 1979 to uh, 82, that is uh, Tapen uh, commune. J'étais chef de la commune de Tapen de 75 à 82. For those who uh, were linked to the Khmer Rouge regime, were arrested, then uh, they were avaient été liés au Khmer Rouge ont été arrêtés at uh, Koh Andai. There was a prison there at uh, Koh Andai. Là, il y avait une prison. I'd like to turn now to the subject of killings at Krang Tai Chan. In your 2008 interview, Dans which is E3 slash 5153, page number 0017-2045 in Khmer, 
page 0020-5091 in English, and 0020-5096 in French, you say the following about killings at Krang Tachan. Quote, Je cite, the killing site was about 100 meters from the prison. Était environ 100 mètres de la prison. I was used to drag people who were nearly dead Je devais traîner and des people gens who à had died of beatings et des gens to the killing site along with the Khmer Rouge cadres. At the killing site, I saw the prison Sur guards hit people with bamboo des clubs, de prison, des clubs and hoes, avec des de bambou, and sometimes they cut their throats with autres, palm frond stems. Parfois, I saw them use swords to behead prisoners many times." De End quote. Vu fois Can des you tell us who was it that ordered you to assist in dragging and Qui burying those bodies? De contribuer à traîner ces gens pour ensuite les inhumer? There was a, a unit of militia there Il y avait là une who used us to do it. Militiens. And uh, the Qui person who was in, in charge there uh, named Dam. He's still alive Dame today, but he is uh, very uh, Il est encore en vie de elderly and très âgée. fragile now. Et Not only Dam, who executed the uh, prisoners, pas le seul à but there were a group of them, Il there were about 20 of them, who actually executed the prisoners and who uh, dug the pits to uh, bury them. Des fosses pour les and can you describe for Question. us how these executions took place? Pourriez-vous décrire ces exécutions? There were different ways of uh, killing people there. Il y avait there. plusieurs façons d'exécuter les gens. Sometimes prisoners were killed immediately Parfois, after upon their arrival. Parfois, des gens étaient exécutés dès leur arrivée. I didn't know how they arrivée. obtained uh, the information. Je ne sais pas comment they executed ils ont those obtenu les informations, Let me give mais you, uh, one des gens event. ont été exécutés tout de suite. One day at 5 o'clock in the exemple, afternoon, there jour, was a woman heures, who was with about a uh, Three-year-old child, and another one was Il y avait une femme jammed, accompagnée maybe, yes, uh, newly, uh, de trois ans born. et d'un nourrisson and également. And the woman uh, could not walk Cette because of uh, bleeding. Ne pouvait pas marcher car elle saignait. I could see uh, blood stained on her skirt. Sa she was jupe était tachée by de sang. Elle était accompagnée two guards with de deux two guns gardiens at armés de fusils. Uh, uh, Elle a été conduite au bureau de détention. Uh, to to uh, un messager then est probablement allé au bureau de détention supérieur. Il a dit que ces gens-là n'allaient pas être placés en détention. And the children Il a accompagné la femme et les enfants jusqu'à un endroit. First, they threw uh, militia men Tout d'abord, les and then deux there were two militia more ont marché, puis d'autres, deux autres sont venus. To go to a tamarind tree Ils sont allés and a, 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 a tamarind tree to the uh, north, tamarinier et un they arbre snatch vers le nord. the baby and hit the baby against the stem of the, the trunk of the tree. And the same thing they did the through the three-year-old uh, child, le, and ans. then they threw them Ensuite, into the pit, and the mother cried and became unconscious. À à At that sens. time, they did not uh, take people through a court like in this court. They just simply killed Ce people. Pas comme maintenant. I don't know, à maybe they made a decision somewhere des gens before sans that, de and then only, only then those people were sent uh, après cela to be executed. I saw what happened, but I didn't know the reason passé, why uh, they killed 
de the, ces exécutions. The, the women, I just made my Notamment own dans le cas de cette femme, to that conclusion. J'ai moi-même analysé les choses et j'ai tiré mes propres conclusions. Are you able to estimate the Question, number of people pourriez-vous estimer you saw killed le nombre de personnes dont vous avez you assisté à l'exécution à Krang Tachan? Response. Réponse. When I was detained at the center, I cannot make centre, assumption. I th um, there was not there were not less than 50 victims executed a day. Il y en avait au moins 50 It's par not jour. only for the former Lonnol official or soldier. The victim were also cadre from the Khmer Rouge themselves. There were more also. I know some of them who, was, who were from my village, who uh, spent uh, and served the movement since 1970. Uh, they were uh, taken for execution in that uh, prison. And the killing was more intense in 1975. Il y a eu davantage d'exécutions en 2015. Quand vous étiez à Krang Tachan, y avait-il des haut-parleurs et le cas échéant, à quoi servait-il Réponse. Yes, they would use loudspeaker very des much. Des haut-parleurs étaient uh, souvent utilisés. Early in the morning, when they play music Tôt on the loudspeaker, de la musique, uh, they use a loudspeaker at uh, four places. They play uh, revolutionary songs. And uh, the more sound you heard from the uh, speakers, the more victims they kill because um, they would use uh, the voice from the loudspeaker to, um, to, uh, to hide something. So uh, when you hear loudspeaker or music on loudspeaker, um, there uh, were many people killed during that time. Are you able to remember the names of any of the Khmer Rouge cadres from your village whom you saw at Krang Tachan? Response, your question, Réponse. do you mean that uh, the prisoner at Krang Tachan or uh, those who work as a staff at Krang Tachan? Prisoners at Krang Tachan. Question, les prisonniers. Response, uh, there were many of them, Il but all beaucoup. of them uh, died, uh, no one uh, survived. A and are you today able to recall Question. any of their names? Vous souvenez -vous de certains de leurs noms? Response. Réponse. Yes, I oui. uh, remember uh, some of their names. Uh, Prosecutor Suan from Takeo province, from uh, the court, Son and then Sok Sao, a commune chief of Samraung commune. After the liberation by the Khmer Rouge, and the Khmer Rouge voilà, took control in his province, and he left uh, to uh, the province. And Suan, who was a former Suen military également. officer, and then uh, the Khmer Rouge uh, arrested him Il after the liberation, soon after the liberation. Peu après la liberation. And other teenagers who uh, were from uh, Phnom Penh after the uh, liberation uh, 
by the Khmer Rouge on the 17th of April 1975. Après, I know uh, many of them and I asked them and they told me that they were sent to Champa Pagoda and uh, later de de Champa, they were sent to Krang Tachan. I told them why don't you lie to them? And they said, no, they could Je not lie to Khmer Rouge. And one of the uh, victims was uh, répondu, taken, and uh, the Khmer Rouge asked him, do you know among the ten people? And uh, that person say, said, yes, I know. And then they sent uh, si another person back into the group, and uh, another uh, one oui, uh, was taken uh, for interrogation. And then and then they came and take the first member. Um, and the Khmer Rouge, uh, told him that you know from the second person that uh, what you did in uh, the old regime. So they keep rotating this, uh, uh, this method among the ten people and then uh, they, they took all of them for execution. Thank you. And I apologize again for interrupting you. It's just because we have a, a limited amount of time and a lot of information to cover. I'd like to ask you now about an incident of torture that you witnessed at Krang Tachan. You describe this in D2524 at page 0016-3459 in Khmer, page 0022-3456 in English, and page 0017-8094 in French. And here is what you said. Quote, Mr. President, hold on a uh, prosecution. Mr. Coupé, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, for the record, I know what the question is going to be. Um, I should have objected already to the earlier question on the execution. Um, there really is no point in reading this particular statement um, de lire cette to the witness and then asking to confirm. I, I, I know you will all rule it, but confirmer. I make the objection anyway. Should, the prosecutor should ask an open question as to the defense that he witnessed in relation to the torture, not just read it to him and then he can say yes or no. Il ne sert à rien de lire la déclaration et de demander de confirmer ou non. Mr. President, if I could respond. Uh, we've got an established practice in this trial. We understand that this is the defense objection, but there's no reason to vary from the practice that we've established uh, of putting a witness's previous statements to him and asking him for additional information or clarification. May I, uh, for, the, for the exception, briefly La respond? I remember also uh, 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 answering to the prosecution that there was um, a decision of the trial chamber in relation La to two portrait witnesses when it comes ce to sujet. a very specific um, contentious uh, period of testimony, that then the question should be open. Rather than parlé close du fait qu'il fallait poser now. des questions ouvertes plutôt que des questions uh, fermées, comme c'est le cas à Judge Cartwright, La juge time, Cartwright c'était by, uh, by prononcée à l'époque sur cette question. Um, Il s'était demandé s'il fallait poser des questions ouvertes ou fermées, chamber. et je me souviens très bien de la décision qui avait été prise. The President, Le President. Um, this is a question for clarification um, uh, in addition to the uh, statement. So the objection uh, is not uh, sustained, so the witness uh, 
um, uh, should uh, reply to the question by the uh, co-prosecutor and prosecutor, uh, could you uh, reframe uh, your question so that uh, the witness can uh, respond to your question correctly? Yes, Mr. President. Mr. Witness, I'm going to read you a portion of one of your interviews and then ask you a couple of questions about it. This is describing an event in Krang Taichan, and this is what you said. Quote, there were three women from Srek Ambel who they tortured. They had them take off their shirts, and they used pincers to pull off their noses and earlobes, and they threw acid on them, poured water into them, and dragged them outside naked. They fried their livers. I saw that with my own eyes. End quote. Now, my question is, can you tell us where specifically in Krang Taichan prison this torture took place and where you were that you were able to observe it? Response. Response. Krang Taichan Detention Center. The building was 4 by 20 meters long. Um, prisoners were shackled in a row. Uh, to the west, there was a small hut um, with the uh, sag uh, wall. Um, the prisoners were sitting on the ground, and um, the cadre was sitting on a, uh, a coconut uh, chair. Coconut uh, tree chair, de, and they de the prisoner were called to uh, to prison there to uh, terrorize them, uh, to tell them the truth when they are interrogated. So they did the torture to uh, terrorize other prisoners, and the next morning. Um, a prisoner were called uh, to sit, and the woman was brought, one of them named Siet, was brought naked. She was from Tapram village. I forget her commune. From Trang district. Tapram village in Trang village district. Tapram, district de Tram. That lady joined the revolution long time Cette ago. Femme avait la uh, since I was working in the hospital, um, the Khmer told that um, the three women were uh, prepared for medical training, but uh, finally they were sent to uh, the salt farm and uh, about a year or so later they were brought to Krang Tachan and, and the, the interrogator, interrogator um, one of them uh, held a pincer and another one holding a bottle of um, Acid, maybe uh, sulfuric acid, but I'm not uh, quite sure. But um, they order that naked woman to sit on uh, the ground, and then uh, they use the uh, pincer to uh, to torture her on her nose, her ear, and her cheek, and then. Uh, squeeze and also oreilles. her lip, and um, um, she was bleeding on her nose and her uh, lip and her ear, and Ses then nez, another interrogator uh, using the uh, sulfuric et acid et to uh, pour on her, and she was uh, uh, screaming and. There were about uh, 10 prisoners who were ordered to, uh, to sit and watch uh, the torture. And then another 
uh, Khmer Rouge took uh, water and pour on those uh, prisoners who were in coma, and then one of them uh, was uh, becoming conscious, and the interrogator asked Là her, who led you to betray? And the victim could not respond. And then they used the hook to, uh, to hook her on her jaw and then use the string to pull her up. And then they used a knife to cut her throat, to cut her um, chest. And then uh, he took the liver together with heart and also gallbladder, and then they use uh, the liver heart uh, as a as a part of uh, terrorizing people and to touch on our face and our head, and then they call another cadre, um, come here and take this. Uh, to fry first, and uh, you should uh, cut off the liver and keep it for me. We were ordered to sit and watch there until um, the next morning, and then the victim was in convulsion because uh, her liver and heart was taken away from her chest. And in the morning, um, we were called to shackle in detention. And the president, now it is now appropriate time for um, lunch break. And uh, from the 17th, of April 1975, this is the scope for uh, our hearing in case 002 slash 02, and um, the chamber would like to advise the party that uh, you should um, limit your line of questioning to uh, the scope of hearing, otherwise you could not finish your uh, questioning. So. Uh, the court uh, will be in recess uh, for, for lunch break, and we will uh, resume at 1.30. Uh, court officer, please uh, work with the uh, Vesu to uh, facilitate uh, the witness to have uh, the room for, her, for his break and uh, bring him back uh, before 1.30 this afternoon. And uh, security personnel are instructed, um, uh, Mr. Kilson Pond, uh, to the holding cell downstairs and uh, bring him back uh, to the courtroom before 1.30. The court is in uh, recess.